And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 642 this morning, and in many ways, it's the same setup as yesterday. A cold front in the northern part of the state, that's where the heaviest rain is going to be. Meanwhile, there is activity in the Gulf, but notice that actually uh, closest to us, some of it's already dying down. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have a rain chance today. Later on this afternoon, I do think there'll be a few showers of storms. Probably not as much even as we saw yesterday. By the way, this out here, that's Hurricane John bringing some nasty weather to the uh, Baja Peninsula, but moving away into colder waters and will be weakening. Uh, they're seeing the biggest impacts right now. And again, uh, kind of like Hawaii also missing out on the biggest impacts because uh, the worst winds right in the center and staying offshore. Now, uh, a good comparison from our chance of rain to the rain chance up to the north. Uh, today, because uh, there's a front, there is a chance for some damaging wind in parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas. No worries about severe weather here in the valley. Though just routine showers with a few thunderstorms possible. Uh, also, the problem is going to be that this front is going to be stalling out in North Texas, and we're talking about being stalled out for a long time through the weekend into the beginning part of next week. So let's talk about rain chances because the front's not coming here. We're just going to have a few sea breeze showers and storms. Uh, again, this is one model taking an average of uh, what our rain is expected to be. Notice Star County. There are going to be a lot in Star County that are probably going to end up being dry for the next week or maybe picking up a few hundredths of an inch. As you go towards the coast, uh, you'll have a little bit more success of seeing some better rain totals, maybe up to about four tenths of an inch. And there could be a few places that if you get right under a thunderstorm, we'll see over a half inch, but that is going to be a very small number of us. Now this compared to what's going up on the northern part of the state. Again, because of round after round of rain through the weekend in the beginning of next week, there's a possibility right in here, kind of the heart of this shade of orange, of seven to eight inches of rain. Uh, now it's over a fairly long period of time, but I am concerned about some flash flooding here. This is an area that needs rain, but they don't need this much rain. Uh, so I, we probably will hear about some flash flooding in the weekend and into the beginning part of next week. Meanwhile, we're going to be not seeing that kind of rain. Our rain chances are pretty small. At 9 a.m. this morning, looking dry, but as we go into the afternoon, here comes a few showers and storms. It's going to be breezy today. Frequent gusts around 20 miles per hour. Notice that the rain is mainly going to be in the lower valley today. It's going to be a real struggle for any of those shower storms to move into Hidalgo County. The heat index for everybody today around 104. It's going to be a hot, steamy day. And uh, by 8 o'clock this evening, uh, the rain chance goes away, and we're just going to have mostly clear skies really for much of the night. Now, we jump ahead to tomorrow morning. I do think there'll be a little bit more cloud cover around. I think it's going to be partly cloudy. It's going to be a dry start to the day. But here we go again in the afternoon. The sea breeze still there, but not as strong as it has been the last few days. Again, in the early afternoon, a few showers start to pop up in the lower valley. They're going to try and work west, but again, struggling. Uh, heat index once again is going to be around 104 tomorrow. Tomorrow also looking breezy. Very similar tomorrow and today. Almost identical weather. Same thing. We will be dry as we get into the evening hours. Uh, today's high at 97. Uh, partly cloudy, breezy day with a few showers and storms during the afternoon. Most of us staying dry though, especially if you're in Hidalgo and Star County, you'll be very lucky to be seeing rain. Uh, gusts are going to be frequently around 20 miles per hour. Tonight the winds will die down just 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear for much of the night. Very late, it will become partly cloudy and we're going to see lows around 78. Uh, notice that uh, even though we're technically a degree higher tomorrow, that's just because the humidity is a touch lower. So it's going to feel the same, basically the same kind of weather. A few showers and storms in the afternoon, a 10% chance. The rain chance does go up for Saturday. Right now going with a 30% chance. Looks like a little wave of low pressure associated with that front up to the north might enhance our sea breeze just a little bit on Saturday. But unfortunately, it's only on Saturday. We go back to 10% chance of the rain Sunday through Tuesday, finally dry on Wednesday. But once the rain chance goes away, yeah, our hottest weather is yet to come. 99 for our high on Wednesday. Well,